Welcome to Florida. Thank you. Oh, and they have the gall to call it the Sunshine State. Well, sometimes it is, to be honest. Anyways, in today's video we are going to Fernandina Beach on Amelia Island, Florida. Also Fort Clinch State Park, Minitini gets a proper RV wash and we even pass by St. Augustine. Yes, all that and more coming up right after this. I'm free in my RV. Yeah. How about that, huh? A micro mini following a micro light. Yeah. Well, today we are going to the northeastern tip of Florida, a Fort Clinch State Park by Fernandina Beach on Amelia Island. I've decided to ignore the GPS lady and take A1A, which generally hugs the east coast of Florida. I figured it would make for a more picturesque drive. Check out all the oceanfront homes here. This scenic detour will only cost me an extra 5 minutes, according to the GPS, so I believe it is worth it. What is 5 minutes after 8 hours on the road? Here we are, Fort Clinch State Park, so let's check in. Wait a minute, wasn't this micro light just ahead of me on I-95? What are the chances, huh? It is a small world, after all. There are two campgrounds here at the park, one by the ocean and one by Amelia River. I was able to book an 18-foot site on the river campground and I am really 19 feet long, so we'll see how that works out. It was the only site available. The river campground is really close to the fort, so that's a good thing, since it is a little cold to swim at the beach anyways. The only negative is that the campground is almost 3 miles from the town and this beautiful drive will get old really, really quick if you want to go in and out a lot like me. I think this is the campground entrance, yet the micro light continued, maybe he knows what he's doing. Why am I following him anyways? Well, that was the campground entrance back there. Serves me well for assuming the guy in front of me knows what he's doing. I see a dump station here to the left. So yeah, this is it. This here is the river access. So my sight must be close. Well, there's a Mr. Microlight coming in from the other side. The correct side, by the way. And it looks like he's going to be my neighbor. What are the chances again? I'll let him park first. In my RV, yeah, I'm riding, riding, riding. I'm riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. I won't deny it, I am having a little bit of a hard time backing into this uh, tight spot. Luckily, my neighbor comes to help. Okay, here we are, Fort Clinch State Park. It's muddy, hot and humid, hot and humid, and there's mosquitoes. Welcome to Florida. Let me check out the end of the campground. It looks interesting. Yeah. We're reaching the end of the road. How pretty. <laughs> this body of water here is the Amelia River, mixed in with some water from the St. Mary's River and the Atlantic Ocean, by the way. Very windy today. I won't be flying the drone, for sure. The landmass to the left is Florida, and the landmass to the right is Georgia. Let me go back to Minitini and then we're going into town. You see, it is a pretty gorgeous drive, but at the 25 mile per hour speed limit it takes about 10 minutes, so it gets old real quick. I decide to check out uh, the beach first. 
and look at those clouds. That's the storm I experienced uh, this morning on my way here, which is now moving east into the Atlantic. As the storm slowly dissipates, It is not the greatest sandy beach, but look at all these seashells. Such weird light today with this storm looming on the horizon. It is actually a lot earlier than it looks. Definitely very interesting colors in the sky today. Yeah, those clouds are unreal and the camera doesn't even do them justice. Amazing those clouds back there. As the storm slowly dissipates. Let's go get a drink. to be the historic district. Since I arrived, I've been wondering where all this wood is going and it turns out there's a paper mill or two nearby. Yep. Pretty cool downtown here. The ranger at Fort Clench recommended this place downtown called the Salty Pelican and I'm going to go check it out. Here's the Fernandina plant, one of two paper mills in town. I think I am going to stay around here around the marina, wait for the sunset and then go eat. I'm standing here on the deck by Brett's Waterway Cafe. Lots of tourists here from all parts of the world watching the sunset here with me. Oh, by the way, as I was watching the sunset, a couple from Ohio, viewers of the channel, recognized me. And that, that was way cool, very, very nice. They were staying at Fort Clinch too, I believe. All right, that was a spectacular sunset. Let's uh, check out this place called the Salty Pelican. Which is supposed to be right around the corner here. It's almost like a tiki bar. I'm not really that hungry, but I might have an appetizer and a beer just to end the night. Yeah, pretty cool place, uh, and it is trivia night, and I'm having the blackened shrimp poutine. Very good. Walking off my dinner here. This is downtown. 
It is Monday night, so a lot of places are closed, but it'll be a lot livelier tomorrow, for sure. This place is closed. Gloria's oldest bar. Maybe I should come back here tomorrow. Well, we'll explore more tomorrow, for sure. Right now, let's head back to the campground. Good morning. Yep, once again, I wake up at the crack of dawn to witness the sunrise. And I almost didn't make it this time. The ocean is so relaxing. I am going to walk north here on the beach for a little bit on this crisp, uh, kind of chilly morning actually. This may be some sand from Hurricane Irma still. I am here in late October, by the way, and still, a month and a half later, you can still see evidence here and there that a powerful hurricane passed nearby. Yeah, it's that type of construction on stilts, like many coastal areas. And a lot of it is for rent, apparently. I wonder how much it costs. Yeah, definitely some possible hurricane damage. You know, you see the random hurricane damage here and there. Pretty cool vacation home. That was a very nice walk I did. Two miles back and forth. Yeah, beautiful sunrise. Ooh, a deer. <whistles> they are not paying any attention to me whatsoever. There's another one. Oh, a little deer. Oh well, they're gone. I'm going to walk to the fort. It's about half a mile, maybe. This might be a shortcut. This is part of the Fort Clinch military road. The way that I came. And here we are. The entrance is through the visitor center. It is $2.50 to visit the fort. And there it is. This is supposed to be the self-guided tour. And number one, swing bridge. Going on the swing bridge towards the Sally port and the moat. Well, I guess in this case it is not a moat, it's technically a glacis. Actually, before I go in, I'm going to check out the beach. This water right here is the Cumberland Sound. And we are, of course, in Florida. And on the other side, that's Georgia. It is a gorgeous day, perfect weather, uh, probably about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 Celsius, and not a cloud in the sky. Okay, let's enter, shall we? Okay, let's begin uh, clockwise here. This is uh, supposed to be 
the guards' rooms. This foundation here on the floor is unfinished uh, officers' quarters. We are going to walk through here uh, towards the East Bastion. Side is closed for construction, but let's check out this other side. I love exploring these old forts. I guess they had a pretty good view of enemy ships from here. This looks like a dining room. The door seems to be locked, so well, there you have it. Ammunition storage, maybe? Well, none of these doors uh, are open, so I guess we're supposed to look through the windows. Oh yeah, this looks like the laundry facility here. There's all this firewood out here. Let's see what this is. It looks like another dining area, or a kitchen. Mm, there's an oven. There's maybe the aqueduct. Let's see what this is. Boo, that's your step. This goes where? Six foot tall wouldn't fit through here. Woo! Echo. Very echoey in here. And there, another view of whatever we are defending. This is called the curtain wall galleries. Maybe it's what's down there. We are back at the center courtyard, called the parade. Let's see what's in here. It looks like more storage. Oh, what do we have here? Hmm, the loo. I guess this is another kitchen dining room area. This one you can actually walk in. That's some onions. Hmm. Nice oven. It reminds me of the one our friends in in Sacramento, Spain have. There's an old padlock. It's really cool, actually. I wonder if we can go up these stairs here. Where do they lead? Probably a big machine gun here. Dangerous day off walls. Yeah, I guess because you could fall. Storehouse and dispensary. Let's see if I can go inside. Quartermaster's office. This looks like it is where they stored uh, the uniforms and the boots and all that gear. I must point out that even though all we got was that pamphlet with a map of the fort and some history, as far as forts go, this one is very well presented. Kudos to Florida State Parks and whomever put this together. Very nice. Let's go up the stairs, see what's up there. Nothing. Another locked door, probably. Yeah. Look 
these are the curtain wall galleries. And now let's go into the enlisted men barracks. Officer's uh, room. Let's see what else we have here. There you go. Actually, if you think about it, it's not bad for the era. This here apparently was the prison. Doesn't look much different than the barracks, except for these uh, iron bars on the windows. I guess this is the solitary confinement. Can't see anything inside. That must have sucked. And this is another um, cell here. I guess the well-behaved uh, prisoners would stay out here. I don't know, I'm just guessing, guys. Okay, they had like shaming signs. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the upper level. Oh look, there's a window here. Mm, lard. Got the fort almost to ourselves here. This is nice. I bet that's where, where the officers lived, maybe. Interesting the construction of the roof, how it uh, drains in the middle. We have picture perfect weather today. From afar, yeah, this seems to be Coquina. It doesn't say it anywhere, but there's definitely evidence of seashells in the rock, so it might be Coquina. And this is the main entrance. Here we're standing in front, I mean, on top the main entrance to the fort. Hey, there I am. Well, as the story goes, uh, for, uh, Fort uh, Clinch uh, was part of the third uh, system of fortifications that uh, the United States employed you know, to defend the nation, the eastern coast, and this uh, construction began in 1847. It's too windy out there. Then, during the Civil War, you know, the, the Confederates took over the fort and they stopped doing any kind of uh, construction. So the construction was halted in the 1860s. And actually, as you saw in, in there, the fort was never completed. There are still like barracks, you know, that they, they laid the foundation and, and they never finished the construction. So that in a nutshell is the story. Actually, I think they used it 
it, like for surveillance during World War II and then it just became the museum that it is today. Pretty cool. Now we're gonna continue exploring uh, Fernandina Beach, Amelia Island. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the, the, the horseback tour on the beach. We'll see, we'll see what happens. It's early. Let's check out the West Inlet well, while we're here. Well, I just walked all around the fort. Good exercise. Okay, let's head back to the campground and get the car. Woohoo! 10,500 steps. And it's not even noon yet. There it is. This is uh, the Fort Clench State Park Public Beach Access. It's a pretty long way to come to the beach. I was thinking of coming tomorrow for sunrise, but... I don't know, it might even be better to go to the regular beach. It's incredible how much uh, the sun is shifting to the south. Already, at this time of the year, Apparently, they are really serious about rip currents here. In the distance, that's the area where I was walking this morning. Beautiful waves. Check out the little bird looking for lunch. Okay, there's a big contrast uh, between nature and industry, right here. Okay, let's go explore the town now. Let's go south here on A1A. Uh, the idea is to go all the way south to Amelia Island State Park, which is where supposedly you can rent a horse to ride on the beach. Most of the beaches here on Amelia Island are private property, Although there are a few public access areas, like this one. I actually learned about it from another YouTuber, Justin Evan. He was here about two years ago. He claimed he was able to overnight here. Either I'm at the wrong place or word got out because it now states clearly that camping is prohibited between 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. Driving permit required. Okay, I guess. Okay, there's the information I needed. I must admit, it would have been really cool to drive on the beach. You can only drive up to here anyways. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get stuck in that sand though. So, what's the point? Here are all the oceanfront condominiums. A few miles further south, this is Amelia Island State Park, and I do believe you have to call to do the horseback tour, so I don't think I'm going to do it anymore. I'm just going to check out the inlet here where the Nassau River meets the ocean, and then it's back to Fernandina for lunch. I see a bunch of people fishing, but no sight of horses anywhere. Maybe they don't bring them out if there's no customers, makes sense. There's the St. John's River coal power plant in the distance. Back to Fernandina I go. <laughs> I'm getting really hungry now. The park ranger yesterday also recommended this other place called Café Caribo. And they're supposed to have like a brewery too, so... Sounds pretty cool. And we're back. The place looks very nice, but when you are by yourself, it is kind of weird to sit at a table by yourself. I was hoping they had a bar, but they don't. I mean, they have one, but it's closed at the moment. Probably at night. 
I'll be back. Let's find someplace else. Very nice downtown, very nice, quaint. This is where I was last night. Well, I can't decide where to eat. I might end up at the salty pelican again. You know, give me a chance to say fly pelican. <laughs> There's once again Florida's oldest bar. I'm going there tonight for sure. Tell you what, even though the waitress at the Caribo said the bar was closed, what she really meant was that there was no bartender. I walked into the brewery straight from the street. I mean, they're not brewing anything at this time of the year and the other person that was at the bar just left, so I'm here all by myself. But apparently they have happy hour after three. The French dip sandwich was a little too salty, by the way. They probably have other offerings, but in my opinion, it is overrated. Now let's go to the beach. How about we spend a part of the afternoon at the beach? The beach seems to be dog friendly. Well, it is a bit too cold. I mean, besides the fact that the water is kind of cold, it's not the most inviting right now. And they had that red flag all over the place, so this rip current. I just wanna walk along the ocean a little more, it's very relaxing. Next mission. The Amelia Island Lighthouse, the oldest one in the state of Florida. Unfortunately, tours are only available the first and third Wednesday of the month at 10 a.m. And there's no other way to get close to it. Trust me, I tried. So this is the best I can do. By the way, I discovered this city park here where you can drop a kayak or fish and they even have this outdoor gym. Pretty cool. Next, let's check out the Fernandina Plaza Historic State Park, originally the site of Fort San Carlos, which was a Spanish fort from the early 1800s. As you can see, there's not a whole lot to see here, but it is said to be a great place to picnic and watch the sunsets and the funky houses. Pretty house. Pretty car. This here is the Tiger Point Marina. And look at all these boats here. Pretty cool to see them out of the water in storage, I guess. Let's get on this bridge across Egan's Creek. I was looking on Google Maps and this road with the gate leads almost directly to the campground. What a shortcut that would have been. Let's go downtown one last time to witness our second and last sunset here. Tomorrow we're heading back to South Florida. Everything looks so great at Magic Hour. Hmm, that place looks promising. There's once again the Palace, the oldest bar in Florida, founded in 1903. Well, sunset is upon us. This here is David Levy Yuli, the father of Florida's railroads. Railroad. Oh. Oh. Trains must be on time. Here we are. This private guy here. Perhaps not as spectacular a sunset as the one we had yesterday, but we'll take it. This here is Brett's Waterway Cafe, right on the marina.
Well, that place is calling me. Gotta have at least one last drink at Florida's oldest bar, right? Even though most of this burned up in a fire in 1999, it has been restored to its former glory. Mm, that's a cool VW bus there. Okay, I think it is time to go. Good morning. Today I have this beach all to myself. I think there's no one else here. A good reason is 54 degrees. Oh, there's someone there. I think. Yeah, I fell off the bed again. Just to see the sunrise, you know. Well, someone just left a chair there. I really ought to check my eyesight because that was neither a person nor a chair. So there, my eyesight is not very good at this time in the morning. It doesn't look like that beautiful sunrise is going to happen today, so I just endured the cold morning for no reason. Oh well, on to other things. Well, what I would give for accurate sensors. So if anybody out there has any ideas like how to remove the underbelly and replace these sensors or knows a, like a reputable place that does it, Hit me up, please comment below because I really, I would really like to address this issue. It's one of the few things, uh, one of the few gripes that I have left here in Minitini. It is time to go to the dump station. If I get out this way, I am going to be facing the wrong direction, but hey, I found a shortcut through here. Riding in my RV Wherever I want to be Because I'm free In my RV Yeah, I'm riding Riding, riding I'm riding in my RV, my RV. Hey, I'm back at my site I want to be Because I'm free in my RV It is my intention to take A1A south, all the way to St. Augustine, where I am going to meet up with a viewer. Pay very close attention to the top center of the frame. Yeah, the GoPro almost collided with a dragonfly. I was supposed to take a ferry here to the left if I wanted to continue on A1A, but I didn't know and I goofed. I kept going, so now I'm going to have to take another route. I drive on the Dames Point Bridge. Then I-95 towards St. Augustine. Randall, he owns an auto detailing company and told me several times actually that if I ever was in the Jacksonville area that he would like to offer his services and cling Minitini the trailer. Well, that opportunity has finally arrived. Riding in my RV 
wherever I want to be. And guys, I'm free in my RV. Yeah, I'm riding, riding, riding. I'm riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Guys, I'm free in my RV. Well, it was great finally meeting Randall and his family in person, and Minitini has never looked so shiny, except for maybe the first day when I picked it up. So, thank you. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I am so close that I might as well pass by St. Augustine, right? I might even get lucky and find where to park. Well, here we are, crossing the famous bridge. I also wanted to visit the lighthouse, we just passed it, but couldn't find RV-friendly parking. I suppose had I gotten really lucky, I could have parked in two of these spots right here, like this Class C. But with a trailer, even as short as mine, it's going to be impossible. Anyways, it's a nice drive here on the bayfront. The Castillo de San Marcos. There's the Flagler College. It would be great to park and explore, but there's no parking for me here today. Hmm, maybe here to the right, if I was a really good driver. Okay, as you, as you probably noticed, the parking in St. Augustine was uh, pretty much impossible. That if I had a class B or B plus or even a class C, I might have been able to get away with parking on the street. I saw several Cruz Americas that just did that. And by the way, I'd like to thank so much uh, Randall and his family for uh, meeting up and, and, and washing Minitini. And man, I forgot to take a selfie, so next time uh, we have to do that uh, selfie together. Anyways, uh, I continue pushing south. I'm going to stop by the rest area and have dinner because I'm starving. And uh, I think I'm going to overnight at the Flying J in Port St. Lucie, that, that one seems uh, like a very army friendly flying year we'll see uh, for now. On the road again. Sitting here at the rest area, I'm just going to reheat what's left of the pasta. And then off to the flying J we go. I'm riding in my RV, my RV, 
wherever I want to be, because yeah, I'm free in my RV, riding, riding, from Florida to Tennessee, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV, yeah, riding. Riding in my RV Wherever I want to be Cause I'm free In my RV If you have enjoyed traveling with us and make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.